everyone welcome to my channel I am sharing the teaching of Apostle Joshua Selman the ministry of the Word of God and the ministry of the Spirit a powerful teaching that we have to hear and be blessed in the Word of God is what produces rituals and legalism and 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 veers people out of the life of god ever learning one way the devil makes you to become less spiritual is by creating a religious culture around the world satan can destroy your spiritual life by giving you a bible <laughs> he said you search the scripture for in them you think you will find life he can occupy you with the pride. I hope you know, I, 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 I trust that God will grant us grace to learn. That, do you know what we call the Council of the Sanhedrin? Pastor, do you know where it was inaugurated? That inauguration started with Moses. The 70 elders that were called. What happened to them? It was the ministry of the spirit that birthed that council. But by the time we get to Jesus in the gospel, they had thrown the spirit away and all they had was the letter. So when Jesus came and saw them, he said, what happened? You didn't start this way. There were commandments and the spirit on Moses came on 70 of them. And so they were put as a system of eldership to preserve the precepts of God. By the time we get to the life of Jesus on earth, these guys had thrown the spirit out of the equation. Yet they had the Torah, the Pentateuch, the five books of Moses. Even Satan has the lamp, but does not have the spirit. So if your system of defense on earth is just to possess the lamb and by no means demeaning the word please don't get me wrong and there is a lot of teaching around the world and that is true but what we do not understand it is that the lord god and his spirit had sent me attempting to access the spirit without the lamb is what will cause people the word of god defines the boundaries of the operations of the spirit you see the same way the oil is put in the lamb so the lamb contains how far the oil should walk so if you do not have the word then when the spirit comes your appetite for hunger will dapple you into witchcraft and you do not know what agency is sponsoring that act hmm. the oil is only useful when it is inside the lamb Please follow me. This is the hidden wisdom of God that was preserved for the glory of the saints. That means when you see someone quoting scripture, why is my life not moving? There is no glory in my life. I can diagnose spiritually like a doctor that you are not accessing the hidden wisdom of God. And one of it is what is shrouded in this mystery of the ten virgins. The Lord and his spirit had sent me. It is always the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit. Everyone please say the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit. It looks like we have a generation right now that allows you to choose. So there are word people and there are spirit people the spirit people are the ones who fall down the word people are the ones who are intelligent both are in trouble are we together now it is the ministry without the oil the lamp will do you know the fire will hurt the what they call it now the weak, without the oil, the fire will destroy the weak. It is the oil that makes the weak to keep standing. Hallelujah. So we can carry an empty scripture. Oh, in the name of Jesus, blessed is the man that fears the Lord. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever. You are not lying, but it has no effect in the spirit like a lamp with no oil. The realm of the spirit continues to watch you and there is no life-giving factor. The word 
himself what I see he was not the word till the spirit came upon him your word worked for 30 years as the son of Joseph never called the Christ till the spirit listen this lamp you see was a person they were holding <sighs> this entire story when Jesus came as that lamp and was walking after 30 years listen carefully listen carefully listen carefully the bible tells us that uh, you know well let's let's just continue what we are discussing jesus goes to john the baptist he didn't say john teach me <laughs> he was the word don't forget John, your ministry is that I cannot walk in glory even as the word until you cause that there be access to the spirit. And then baptism. When John came out, the Bible says the heavens were open. The same way the other virgins began to pour oil inside the lamb. The spirit of God came from heaven upon Jesus and turned him into the Christ. From that time, he went to the wilderness for 40 days. He came out, the Bible says his fame went abroad. Strange things began to happen to him. He said, how God anointed the word with the Holy Ghost. Anointed with the Holy Ghost. And leave power, anointed with the Holy Ghost. It is always the word and the spirit the ministry of the word the ministry of the spirit let me tell you what the word does and and i submit to you i don't claim to know everything but i'm a bit concerned at our I, and i don't speak to house of david i'm just speaking apostolically the the scope of the understanding of many people about the word our approach to the word is the same approach to a charm and that is wrong. The word of God in terms of its operation is not a mystery. The goal of the word of God is to construct in us the value system. The word is supposed to do something. Are we together now? Please listen very carefully. The word of God is not some superstition thing to just hold and just um and it's, it's not necessarily in, in that, that charm like manipulation of it. No. The word of God is a spiritual medium that does many supernatural things. Among them, this, giving you the mind of Christ. It begins to culture and alter your perspectives. The word of God is a compendium of the methodology, the modus operandi of the kingdom. So when you operate by the word, it's supposed to be a system of spiritual education that brings you to think like Christ. You begin to understand the things of the spirit. God's operation, his system system of operation are we together so i can know you are accessing the word not just by your ability to quote it that the word of god has so influenced you influence your faculties when i see you i should find it hard to trace you to any nationality on earth because the word of god has created out of you a culture that cannot be traced to any nationality this is the operation of the word. So I should be able to see a Yoruba man and an Igbo man and a Northern man. And when two of you stand influenced by the word, you should look like family members. If it is really the word, you should look like family members. It should be so difficult to separate you into geographic contexts. So if I'm still alive to my foundation, then it's a sign that the word of God has not prevailed. Because all ten were virgins. Nothing more was said about them. The word of God unified them to one family. It was the lack of the Holy Spirit that diverged them to different... The Bible never says there were ten sisters. It never said there were ten relatives. Because of their possession of the lamb it didn't even tell us the sizes of the lambs were the same the fact that you had access to the lamb qualified all of you to be called one family this is the ministry of the world
Is God blessing us tonight? But the challenge usually is the ministry of the Spirit. And I'll tell you why. Because for you to begin to engage the ministry of the Spirit, it will do many things to you. Number one, the ministry of the Spirit will in many regards insult your sense of maturity and order the character of the spirit was given in john chapter 3 and verse 8 the wind blow it the word is orderly there is a system of order but when you come to the ministry of the spirit it demands extreme flexibility are we together now so the wind blow it where it listed the candle wick does not move around but the oil can move around even though within the vessel it is it, it can be confined this dimension of the holy spirit is 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 a threat to tradition are we together now so when you begin to operate by the ministry of the spirit and now you see someone dancing like a fool you know now there's a problem with this one you see where the problem is there is no problem talking, acting intelligently. I mean, remember you went to school and now something comes upon you and you have to dance or something comes upon you and you have to laugh and you are saying, hallelujah, I don't even know what is happening to me. I'm jumping around and they say, now I know that this your spirit thing has a problem. Yet that was the, the same thing that we call foolish is what made the virgins wise. So the carnal man, he says, cannot receive the things. He never said the carnal man cannot receive the word. He said the carnal man can still be a virgin. But when it comes, the true test of spirituality is the ability to sustain the flexibility, to be balanced, yet to be able to receive. That means that if someone is shouting there under the anointing, and I know that I, I, I'm, this is a church with order, but your pastor has that spiritual intelligence to know that that shout is not just rowdiness. There is something being birthed in the spirit. understand how easy it is come my dear to look at this lady and say in the name of Jesus I speak over your life be healed but when the Holy Ghost tells you just walk around this lady move like this you see that's the ministry of the spirit that one now even you the doer you are you are threatened by what the newspaper will interpret this thing to be uh, you, you would rather be confined Our interpretation of spiritual things is proof of the absence of the oil in the lamb. Oh. Yet the Bible says it is in accessing that hidden wisdom that the glory of the saints lie. That means sometimes it is in my jumping in the room alone and saying hallelujah. Lord, I don't know what you are doing, but I'm just jumping like a fool. And the Bible says my glory is being programmed in that. It doesn't make sense to me, but it is the ministry of the spirit. Why will a tenant be rejoicing and just say oh thank you oh oh lord i give you praise i'm dancing a husband holds his wife and says we've been barring for five years but let's roll on the carpet and that that's what the holy spirit is saying and you just look at him and say you mean it no wonder you don't have a child with with this kind of sense that i mean what is all this and three months later they tell you the woman carried triplets Eight years of birth compressed in nine months. The glory of the saints. If she gave birth to only one child, she would sponsor the child. But now a rich man gets interested in these triplets and says, Look, the fact that they are triplets, I want to pay their school fees till university. The ministry of the spirit. Alas, master. For it was borrowed. Where fell it? And carries a stick. 
and throws it down hidden wisdom i'm not talking of superstition my brothers and my sisters please let's not confuse what i'm explaining here there are lots i'm not talking of superstition at all let me emphasize it again this is not some superstitious things no the spirit the supervisor of the strangeness we give you god the highest praise moses sit down please why listen listen ah, god god is doing something to someone here that's why we sang and said break our walls down remember you sang it i warned you you still sang it moses tell them the egyptians you see today you will see them no more but how will it happen moses take a stick go and stand by a river in front of two point something million angry people who are threatened to go back to slavery and touch and let it divide master if it be thou i show you the ministry of the spirit bid me come and he said come walk on water pastor let god reveal to you to tell any member to walk on water